It's the Broadway show and we are back with another good one. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Don't whistle on the elevator. It's Arthur Miller's death of a salesman. And for the very first time, the Broadway revival has a black lead. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek. That's right, Tamsin. Wendell Pierce wowed audiences in London as Willie Loman, and now he's playing the Titanic role on Broadway at the Hudson Theater. I caught up with the stage and screen favorite just across the street from his current stomping grounds. <laughs> Wendell, so good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you, too. How's Broadway treating you? You seem like uh, you're having a nice, a nice run. I, I'm having uh, the time of my life. It's uh, a great challenge. It's tiring but in a good way. It's a, a sense of satisfaction and um, uh, a sense of accomplishment at the end of the evening. You're in Death of a Salesman. Yes. Critically acclaimed, beautiful production. Mm -hmm. You could probably do it, you know, for a, for a while. You could sit down for a while, but you're here for like a nice, yes. healthy run through yes. January 15th. Yes, yes, very good. And I know you did it in London before, and this was sort of a dream to bring it here. Yeah, we did it in London. It's. Um, Everyone assumes that we kind of like went straight from London here, but it's been a, yeah. a hiatus of uh, two and a half years and because of uh, the pandemic. Yeah. So it's like uh, a, a renewed take on the play, you know, with a new cast. And there's a lot of sense memory that comes to it. Um, but uh, and so I remembered a lot. My body, my emotions, you know, my spirit remembered a lot of the work that we had done. And then working with new people just gave it even more new life. So Willie Loman, that's one of the big Titanic yes. <laughs> stage roles yes. for an actor. Do you ever dream you would see it on your resume? I did not, but I, I actually met a young actor last night as I came out of the theater, and he reminded me that I told him years ago that I wanted to do the role. I had not remembered it. Um, and then when the offer came, I jumped at the chance, I leapt at the chance because it is one of the great challenges. I, every night I feel as though I'm at the base camp of Mount Everest looking up and at the end of the evening I have the summit. And um, it, 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 is, it challenges me every part of my being and it is the thing that makes me um, really appreciative of all the work that I've done in preparation for it. When you have a career, you've had an incredible career, film and TV and stage, mm -hmm. does it feel like sort of the culmination of the hard work? Absolutely. When you have something like this? Absolutely. It's kismet that at this point of my life and in my career that I'm playing the role because um, there's a, a, a catharsis of, of career and of my personal journey that I am doing this reflection on, this self-reflection that serves the play and serves an illumination and understanding of the play and then the lessons that the play teaches, you know, um, that there's your first wealth is love, love of family and not of materialistic things, um, how to deal with those insurmountable odds. And so it is the culmination of my career coming together. Arthur Miller wrote an incredible family drama, American family drama. Mm -hmm. This is the first time on Broadway it's a black family. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that factor is instrumental to the success of what audiences are feeling in this production or sort of incidental? It is absolutely instrumental to the impact that it's having on people because it is so impactful uh, because it enlightens the material, amplifies the themes of the material even more because what was the usual humiliation, the usual self-destruction, the, the usual uh, variables that are placed in front of Willie's pursuit of this American dream become even more uh, insurmountable, going back to that word, because of uh, the, the, the micro and macro aggressions that were happening in the racial culture of this country for a black family in 1949. So the illumination of all the, the pain in the play and the conflict of the play is heightened with a black family. And the reason you do revivals is to bring a new interpretation. So the African-American experience, along with a, a vital and visceral Willie, who fights to the end before he ever gives up, um, I think are the two things I'm proudest of in our interpretation and production. This is your latest triumph. What was your first stage triumph as a kid? <laughs> My first play ever was in kindergarten. I played Chicken Little. 
The sky is falling down. <laughs> turkey lurkey. And, <laughs> and I remember turkey lurkey. I can't remember everybody else. But the sky is falling down. The sky is falling down. And I had on a really wonderful little short sleeve white shirt with a yellow bow tie and yellow pants, you know? So it was, <laughs> it was great. I was, I was chicken little. You nailed it. I nailed it. I'm, I nailed I'm it. Sure. And actually, the thing that got me back into it was in fifth grade, I did um, a play at the University of New Orleans with a graduate student um, from a theater camp that I went to. Uh, she called me back in, and I did Midsummer's Magic. So you stole the title. <laughs> Midsummer's Magic was a children's play where I got lost in the woods, and they were having their Midsummer Festival that the troll would always destroy every year. And the little boy Jeremy, who got lost in the woods, figured it all out. Said, "Did you ever invite him?" And he said, "Oh no, we never have." And I solved it. I solved the whole problem of their Midsummer Magic <laughs> Festival, where the troll was invited. So Mr. Fox and Wilhelmina Weasel and all the other characters had a wonderful festival. And as I'm about to join the festival, you hear, Jeremy, Jeremy. I said, I have to go. My mom's calling me. So I saved <laughs> the day, and I left stage right. And then I was hooked. I was playing football, got to high school, and they came recruiting from my performing arts high school, and I told the coach, I'm going there for acting. He was like, what? <laughs> and, uh, and that's how it all started. So when you say, that Willie Loman is the culmination of everything you've ever done. You're including Chicken Little. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> when I'm having those flashbacks, when I am having the, the synaptic nerves of fly, falling off, man, Willie Loman is the first one saying the sky is falling in. You know what I'm saying? He's the, he's the first one. He's hearing voices. He's, he's seeing things. Oh, yeah. Diamonds shining in the dark, hard and rough. I could just pick up, I see it like a diamond. I see diamonds, you know, I hear voices. Oh yeah, the sky is falling in on oh, Willie, definitely. A man must have a code, oh, no doubt. I have to ask you one thing about The Wire. Yes. You had an amazing TV success with The Wire. Yeah. It is regularly sort of credited as maybe the best TV show, one right. of the best TV right. shows. We're always in the top five, at least. Yeah, top right. five, yeah. definitely top five. How does, it, how does it feel to be a part of something like that? Uh, it feels very special. I wish it for everyone, right? Uh, we always know I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's the opposite. I wish this for every actor, that they would have something that's so defining of their work yeah. Uh, in the arc of their uh, career. And I think Death of a Salesman is gonna be that for me now. I've become a part of a small fraternity of men who play the role that I think about every night. Mm. You know, I, I think of the five men who played it on Broadway. Mm. Uh, I, I feel personally connected to them because I know what that feeling is like before the, the curtain rises. Yeah. I, I feel connected to Lee J. Cobb and Dustin Hoffman and, and, and Philip Seymour Hoffman, yeah. Brian Dennehy, and Joyce C. Scott. Yeah. I go, I know. I know. <laughs> I know how daunting the evening seems right now and how fulfilling and satisfying it will be in a couple of hours.